We are downtown today for another uh, SoFi event. I don't think I've vlogged one of these yet, but our one of our banks puts on really cool free events in Los Angeles, and so that's where we're going tonight. Oh no, my bat's low, but thought I'd take you inside a look at the Arts District Brewing Company. We're going to a free brewery tour and beer tasting, etc. Definitely more up Jeff Street than mine. Alley. <laughs> but more yeah, <laughs> more up your alley. Crazy Gideon's place. It was a TV guy. I don't know if you've seen the commercials years ago. He throws TVs off the roof. Well, this was this was his uh, his place. And if you see it, kind of the mural up front, that, that was his original with uh, all the old school. You can see like VCRs and all these video cool outdated. But that this was his place. So he uh, he leased it to us after he finished up, and we kind of kept a lot of stuff from him. And he actually did a. He's our landlord now. Be with you. And uh, he did a, uh, a fake commercial for us for one of our beers called Crazy Gideon, of course. And it was a hoot on the internet because everybody thought he would never what happened to him. He's throwing beer on the ground and pouring himself. <laughs> and he's standing beside his Bentley and we're like, oh my god. This barrel's two kegs, so that's bigger kegs like this say. So two kegs is a barrel, so there's 30 kegs in the small ones and 60 kegs in the big ones. So you imagine it, uh, gallons of beer. It's, a lot of weights, about 10, 15,000 pounds in each of those tanks, and some of the bigger ones do. And we were afraid to put them upstairs, and they fall through the floor. So, uh, we, if you'll see when we get in the other area, we put all these steel beams up because we're like, oh, let's, let's be safe. Uh, but all our malls in here, we used to have a, this used to be a huge mall area, pool mall, but if you see the silo outside, a lot of beer, your base mall, say like baking, it's like regular flour that for brewing, uh, two rows are base mall. So uh, it's a 25,000 pound, 25,000 uh, pound two-row silo out there. So most of our beer, uh, malls start out here. This is all our specialty malls: chocolate malls, German malls. Uh, we got different malls for Belgium and different malls for bring out different flavors. <laughs> Upstairs, they're pretty much just giant kegs, so that's the finished process. And we pour directly from them, uh, so you just get a, as soon as fresh as beer as possible. Instead of cleaning a keg and put, adding another process to it, those just make it as clean as possible, uh, the freshest beer we can possibly produce. Uh, here, down here is our fermenters. These are all 15 barrel fermenters, so they, 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 they hold about 30 kegs of beer. Uh, each of these tanks have a brew cycle about 20 to 21 times a year, so each of these tanks will. 21, 20 to 21 batches of beer. So depending on how many tanks you have is how much capacity you can brew over here. All right, so uh, we didn't do a lager at the brewery for a while because lagers take a little longer to uh, ferment. They take a month plus. Eels take about two weeks. So we did Yeah, you know, give or take. There's also conditioning time difference in the play. Um, so we made a lager pretty recently. Our first one was Daily Affirmation. Sold out so fast. The second one um, is the German pills that we have on tap right now downstairs. It's called Heinrich, and we named it after our lift, which helps us put the barrels on top of one another as well as stack the grain a little bit. Um, the make is actually a Jung Heinrich, uh, but we decided that Heinrich was a really nice name for loggers, and all of our loggers from now on have had kind of like German names. Our next logger is a Vienna logger, it's called Sigmund, Sigmund Freud. So we have the uh, German Pilsner, Heinrich on tap right now, 5.5%, German Hops, Color Tower, um, as well as Pet Manager. 
Well, so when you go to pour yourself your lager, um, make sure and tilt your glass, open the tap fully, gently yet curve, I like to say, and then close it. Don't, don't open it just a little bit. Just go ahead and open it all the way. Pour some beer, just pass beer on. Sideways and fill it up. Oh, oh, nice. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Oh, Currently inside the brewery. No, she's she's vlogging. I'm just vlogging. She get a picture. How would your thoughts on the tour? So much fun. Brewery. <laughs> it's facing us. Brewery. It's it's a weird question. It's a video. <laughs> Brewing beer is like an art. Yes. And, and the brewer's a woman, which is awesome. Yeah. Yeah, she's a woman. And, and, and it's delicious. It's so delicious. This is a lager. But they do they do everything. I don't know. It's great. It's a lot of fun. It's really cool to see how it's made because you don't really appreciate that at the bar when you can't see the scale of it, but yeah. You can see the scale of it. It's just a whole. Look how big this thing is. It's like where I am. It's huge. So, drink up. Idris, how are you feeling about the tour? The what? How are you feeling about the tour? The tour is pretty cool. Um, there's a lot of uh, people on the tour that are yes. drinking beer. You're not a big beer guy. I'm not a big beer guy. I like drinking uh, water and juice and milk. Yes. What about Slightly you? less exciting of a tour, though, I would yeah. imagine. I'm not a huge on beer Is there either. such thing as a milk brewery? It's a milk brewery. That would be like cool. Like a, a non-dairy brewery. I'm not, I'm not as huge on beer either, but I've been on the Guinness factory tour, and that was really cool. Oh, wow. And seeing how it's made is really cool, too. Uh, you you know, admit. Homer Simpson went on that tour. He would do it. Very true. <laughs> Conquered the Arts District Brewing Company Brewery Tour. Why now, do you sing? I don't know. Why because it's more interesting when you sing, obviously. Now we are headed back up to the bar area. Some more evening funsies. 